everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we will be doing our annual Christmas tree decorating which we do every year. I always make sure it is up for the 1st of December ready for the elves to arrive and I've got my two little elves that will be helping me today. Are you all ready Penelope? Yes! Yeah. And Henry? Yes! Yeah. We've all got our matching jumpers. Unfortunately daddy doesn't have one because they were from the women's section so daddy's missing out on the uh, matching jumpers today. We have got a new Christmas tree this year. We decided to get a flocked one, so we're gonna see how that turns out. We just thought we would bring you along with us. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Done we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. few quick tips for when you are doing your Christmas tree which I found really helpful over the years is to first of all obviously put your Christmas tree but really make your branches fluff out so it gives you the full effect of your Christmas tree and then test the lights before you put them on because you don't want to put all the lights on and then the lights not be working so I always turn them on first and then wrap them round and I like to actually have them on because then I can see where it needs lights more. And with the lights, I actually go up and down the branches, like front and back, all the way in. Don't just like wrap it round. Go to the back inside the stem there, and then come back out along each branch, and it gives it a, a better effect. Or if you buy a pre lit Christmas tree, that's even better. And then start with your Christmas topper. So I've just put our Christmas topper on. Um, and then that makes it a lot easier because once everything's decorated it is really hard to get up there and you can kind of have that as your main piece and work your way down. The next thing I'm going to do is going to be my ribbons and then I will add in all of my de different decorations once the ribbons are all on but it gives you a really good base by doing it that way. So. Let's get going with the ribbons. So when you do your ribbons, I like to get one that's got a wire in it because these help you shape the ribbon around. But I start at the back here at the top and I like to go diagonally down the tree. And what I will do is I will get bits here and I will pinch, twist it round so it's back to the front and wrap it, a branch around that and then it gives you a really nice effect of it going in and out of the tree. Um, I'll probably be better once I show you when it's on and you can get the true effect. Fast away the old year passes, fa la 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 Hail the new year lads and lasses, fa la 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 Sing we joyous all together So we have hit a little snag with our decorating. Henry, this way, this way, hold mummy's hand. We've hit a little snag because our tree is so white with the flocking, but our garland is very, very green. So we didn't really want to buy a new garland because I think that's just a bit wasteful. So we're coming to see if we can get any fake snow from the Christmas shop. Thank you. 
So it was a successful trip. We got some snow spray. So we're now just gonna give this uh, spray because if you can see, it looks very green next to the white. Trees are up. The kids are just watching a Mickey Mouse Christmas special thing on Disney Plus. I'm gonna try and make heads or tails of my garland that goes around the outside of my, of my out of my outside door. I'm gonna be doing um, the candy cane theme. is is dialing up a lot this year. I managed to get a lot more things, but I need to salvage it. I put it away thinking it would be all alright to just pull back out. But it is not, it's all a bit squished, so I need to sort the deco mesh out. So I'll show you what I'm working with here. So what I have done is attached four garlands together. So I've got one, they both finished there and there. Um, but to make it thicker, I've doubled it up. So it goes all the way around the door because I wanted it to be nice and thick. So I use this deco mesh that I got off Amazon. I will link it below if I can find it. Um, and it was really easy to do, but as you can see, it's all got very squished in the attic. So I'm gonna just have to take it all off and redo it, I think. It is the only way to salvage this. So this is what I was working with. I cut them down off the roll, if you can kind of see the size there, and then I just rolled them up into like a flower, well, not a flower, it's like a ribbon bow sort of shape. And then I just wrapped the garland around them to give this sort of bow effect on there. But as they've all got a little bit squished up, I'm gonna have to try and just open them all out, which is a bit of a pain because I was hoping this was gonna save me some time. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get doing that now. So we got there in the end, I've managed to attach all the extra candy cane bits to it and I just need Kieran to help me put this up in the doorway and then I can add all the finishing bits and bobs to it. I feel as though we went a little overboard candy cane this year but I absolutely love it. Kieran's just attaching my garland round the door. We've used some hooks that were already in and cable ties to attach it and we had the lights already in there so I've not had to faff with them today. One of my things has fallen down so I'm going to have to figure out how to get that back on. I'm just hoping that they stay up because they're not attached very well. 